beautiful stuff. So, today's class comes from my friend's house in Chard. <laughs> we are mixing it up this week all around the country. Um, so we'll start, as always, just warming up the fascia circles. So starting with the left foot, so we position that. Um, starting with the left foot, just circling the ankle in one way for a few circles and then circling it in the other way for a few circles too. And then moving into the knee. And the other way. And then moving into the hip. I don't seem to have muted you this morning. I'm not doing particularly well here, am I? And then Amy, if you're struggling with your connection, maybe just turn off your video so I can't see you, but you can see me. That might just give you a bit more bandwidth. Okay, so keep going with your hip circles. Well done, guys. You all know now, fascia circles is a great way just to get all the connective tissue in the body moving. And then we'll move to the other side. So starting with the ankle, nice big circles. And then take it the other way. And then into the knee. And the other way. And then into the hip. And the other way. Good stuff. And then bringing both feet down onto the mat, nice big circles through the, both hips. Really taking those hips back and bringing them forwards. And then take that in the other direction. And then bring the hips to stillness, circle through the ribs. Taking it one way. We're really trying to get some movement into the middle of the torso. And then taking it the other way. Good stuff. And then nice big circles in the shoulders. And take them the other way, squeeze it behind you and rolling them forwards. And then nice big circles through the wrists. And the other way. And then with a closed fist, nice big circles. Really getting into those forearm muscles and taking it the other way. And then into the elbows. And the other way. And then really big circles, reaching up and reaching back. Really getting into all those crunchy bits in the shoulders. Excellent. And then take that the other direction too. And 
and then let the arms come down by the sides. So take the left ear towards the left shoulder. If you feel like you need more of a stretch, you can always use your hand over the top of the head. And then release that off, roll the chin around the front, coming around to the other side. And again, you can always use the hand over the top of the head if you'd like. Then roll the chin around to the front, getting the chin as close to your neck as you can. Interlace the fingers, cut them around the back of the head and press the head up into the hands as you resist that movement with your hand. And then last one, drop the hands behind your back, stretch them away from you and then take your chin towards the ceiling so you feel a stretch down the front of the throat, trying to keep the back of the neck long. Excellent. Okay, we'll do a few sun salutations just before we get into the HIT sessions. We're continuing our theme on full moon this week. So obviously the full moon is very strong in pulling the tides and it pulls our energies too. So we're just going to continue that theme of balancing our energies. So starting at the top of your mat, inhaling arms up, reaching up, looking up. Exhale, folding forward, big bend of the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, long back, long neck. Exhale, fold. Step back with the left, step back with the right. Bring the knees down, bring the chest and the chin down, and then take it forwards into a cobra pose. Exhale down to the mat, tuck the toes, take the hips back and up, pushing up into our first downward dog. Because it's the first downward dog of the day, let's have a wiggle and a jiggle here. Maybe stretching one heel down to the mat, followed by the other heel down to the mat as you bend the opposite leg. Maybe stretching the chest through towards the thighs or wiggling through the shoulders or maybe stretching down the side of the body by moving the hips. Move in whatever way you want to move. And then looking forward, step forward with the left, step forward with the right. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up to the top. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Other side, inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Step back with the right, step back with the left. Knees down, chest and chin down. Take it forwards into cobra, relax those shoulders down the back. Exhale, back down, tuck the toes, press it back and up into your downward facing dog. Two big breaths here. Then looking forward, step forward with the right, step forward with the left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, reaching up, looking up. Exhale, hands back to heart centre. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step or jump it back to plank. Knees, chest, chin or come down to chaturanga, into your cobra or your up dog, legs engaged, knees off the floor. Take the hips up, come over the toes into downward facing dog. Looking forwards, bend the knees, step or hop forwards. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up, reaching up. Exhale, hands back to heart centre. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Step or jump it back to plank. Knees, chest, chin, or come down to chaturanga, into your cobra or your up dog. Take the hips up, come over the toes into downward facing dog. Looking forwards, bend the knees, step or hop forwards into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way to the top. Exhale, hands to heart centre. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Take the left leg back. Keep the left hand down. Three circles through the right shoulder. And then three circles the other way. Then placing that hand down on the mat, take the front foot all the way back and through, reach the right toes up towards the ceiling. 
bend at the knee, open the hip, three circles through the hip. And then take those circles in the other direction. Reach those toes all the way up to the ceiling, drop the toes down towards the mat. And then take the hips forward into plank, come down through knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga into cobra or up dog. Take the hips up, roll over the toes. Take the chest through towards the thighs, really lengthening the back in your down dog. Lift the left leg up towards the ceiling, bend at the knee, open the hip, three circles through that hip. And then three the other way. Stretch those toes all the way up towards the ceiling. Bring that foot forward, place it between the hands. Keep the right hand down, three circles through the left shoulder. And then three circles the other way. And then bring the hands either side of the front foot, step the back foot forwards into your forward fold, exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way to the top. Exhale, hands back to heart center. Good stuff. Okay, first round of hit. This will be interesting because I haven't used this timer before. My other timer's at home. So we'll see how it goes. So, first one today is based on warrior one and tree. So we'll start with the right leg going backwards. So we start in warrior one, nice big inhale. We exhale as we kick forwards, or you can do high knees. We then inhale as we cross it over into a figure four squat. Sorry, uh, uh, yeah, inhale. Exhale, fists to hips. And then we inhale back warrior one, so we're starting position again. Okay, so inhale warrior one, exhale kick. Inhale into tree squat, oops. Exhale up, inhale back. Exhale, kick, inhale, squat, exhale, up. So we're gonna do four on one leg, four on the other leg. So starting with the right leg going back. Okay, get ready. And, oh, no, not yet. Two, one, let's go. So inhale back, exhale, kick. Inhale, squat, exhale, up. Inhale back. Exhale, kick. Inhale, squat. Exhale, up. Inhale, back. Exhale, kick. Inhale, squat. Exhale, up. Good. Rest. That's round one done. So, another three on this leg. Let's go. Inhale, back. Exhale, kick. Inhale, squat. Exhale, up. Inhale, 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 inhale. Remember to squeeze that core line fascia in and up and rest. Two down, two to go. Let's go. Oops, warrior one, kick, tree, kick, good. Nice, noisy exhales and rest. Okay, last round on this side. Make sure you've got a point of focus. I'm gonna go the other way so I stop hitting the lampshade. Okay, inhale, squat, inhale, squat. Really pull the tummy muscles in. Give yourself the stability. Back. Squat, up, and rest. Good. Okay, so we're moving to the other side now. So left leg goes back. Get ready, and go. Left leg. Squat. Ooh, less balanced on this side. <laughs> Inhale. Squat. 
have to remember to pull everything in or you'll be falling over like I just did. <laughs> Too much chat, not enough focus. <laughs> and rest. Good. Okay, getting ready for the sixth round. Let's go. <sighs> Make sure you're moving your arms like they're moving through treacle. <sighs> so the muscles are engaged. <sighs> really pull those tummy muscles in. <sighs> and rest. Good. Two left to go. Let's go. Remember those nice, noisy exhales. And rest. Good. Last round. Get ready. Let's go, last one. Really squeeze everything tight on that tree squat. And rest, good job. Okay, that is done, well done. So maybe have a drink of water. Maybe stretch out down the front of the quad. Okay, so standing on one leg, whoops, pulling the other into your bum. And release that off, then the other. Really tucking that tailbone under and then stretching that knee back to really get that stretch. Then take a small step, left foot forwards, right foot back. Hands down, train the front foot, lift those front toes to stretch out down the whole of the back leg. And then switch it up to the other side, lift those toes. Straighter your back, bigger the stretch. The closer your knee is to your um, chest, the bigger the stretch. The straighter the leg, the bigger the stretch. Okay, I'm gonna release that one off. Okay, the next one's on goddess. You know I love this one, although we might mix it up halfway through. So we do chair, come to the goddess in the middle, chair the other side. Goddess in the middle, chair the other side, pop it up. Down into chair, into goddess, down into chair, pop it up. We'll probably do four of those, and then we'll move to goddess, three on one side, three on the other side, three with both heels up. Okay, so four goddess dance, four goddess pulses. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, get steady. And then let's go. So chair, goddess, chair, pop it up. Chair, goddess, chair, pop it up. Chair, goddess, chair, chair, goddess, chair. Good, keep those hips nice and low. Good, and rest. If you find it good, feels good, to pop up onto your toes on the pop up, then pop up onto your toes. Let's go. Chair, goddess, chair, chair, goddess, chair, chair, goddess, chair. Good. Keep it moving. Nice noisy exhales on the pop up. Keep it going. Good. And rest. Okay, two more sets of these. So popping up onto your toes this time if you can. Chair, goddess, chair, pop it up. Chair, goddess, chair, pop it up. Get those hips nice and low. 
open up into your goddess as wide as you can. Nice noisy exhale on the up. Good, and rest. Okay, last one of these. So if you wanna do a little jump, then add a little jump. Okay, chair, goddess, chair, pop it up. Chair, goddess, chair, chair, goddess, chair. Good, keep it moving. Keep those tummy muscles pulled in. And rest, good. Okay, next four rounds, goddess pulses. Three with the left heel up, three with the right heel up, three with both heels up. And the other one. And both. Good, down for three. Left, right, both, down, left. Oh yeah, and rest. You're gonna love me by the time we've done four rounds of that. <laughs> Think about those thighs for the summer though. Next round, left, right, both, heels down, left, right, both, heels down, left, right. Might as well do both even though it's beat. <laughs> and rest. Okay, round seven, let's go. Heels down, keep breathing. Oh yeah. And rest. Okay, last round. So if you want to add hand claps into this one, Let's add some hand claps in. Okay, let's go. Faster. Oh yes, well done. Okay, coming into Goddess. Stretch it out down either side of the body. Good. Excellent stuff. Well done. Okay, have a little drink if you need to. Next round. So this is quite a movie, movie round. We start in warrior two. We're really thinking about chest openers here. So we start in warrior two. We go back to reverse. We come all the way down. Take the foot up into three-legged dog, over into flip dog, really open the chest. Come back, three-legged dog, ground down, windmill through warrior two into reverse. Windmill look forwards, take the foot back, up and over, stretch, up and over, back, windmill round into reverse. So ideally, as you're going into reverse, you want a nice big inhale into your chest to really open the chest. Okay, so we're taking our right leg back first. Are you ready? So come to the tops of your mats, set the right foot back, and let's go. So inhale into reverse, bring it forwards, take the leg up and over, into world thing or flip dog, stretch that chest up. Exhale back over, bring the leg forward, inhale it back through warrior two into reverse. Exhale it forwards, take the leg up and over, inhale, and the first one's done. Okay, getting ready for round two. Let's go. Exhale it forwards. Inhale it over into the chest. Exhale it back. Inhale it forwards and over into reverse. 
exhale it back down and then inhale as you flip exhale flip back and round two is done two more on this side then we'll switch to the other side <clears throat> get ready let's go exhale down inhale flip exhale back inhale into reverse exhale it down inhale flip exhale back good and rest okay last one this side get ready <clears throat> inhale reverse exhale down inhale flip exhale back inhale into reverse exhale back down inhale flip exhale back good and rest okay other side so left leg goes back this time inhale into reverse exhale it down inhale as you flip stretch that chest exhale back inhale as you come into your reverse exhale back down inhale as you flip stretch the chest exhale back over and rest good stuff next round let's go inhale reverse exhale down inhale flip exhale back inhale into reverse exhale back inhale flip back up and rest okay two more rounds and we're done on this one let's get going inhale into reverse exhale down inhale flip lift the chest lift the hips exhale back inhale as you come into your reverse really squeezing those inner thighs squeezing your core muscles as you move through these movements and rest okay last round let's go moving as fast as slow as you like and rest good stuff get your water have a little drink okay down onto the mats either in high plank or low plank it's up to you we're gonna hold for a minute okay so get into your plank however you prefer knees off the ground hug the core muscles in yes good stuff press the ground away with your shoulders <sighs> hips are nice and low <sighs> tuck the tailbone under pull those core muscles in and up let the neck be an extension of your spine so you're not jamming your head backwards. The neck is nice and long. Pull the tummy muscles in. Press the heels away. Tuck that tailbone under. Push the ground away. Keep the back nice and long. Keep breathing. Almost there. Keep it going. Keep it strong. Pull it in. Keep breathing. Knees down. Take the hips back into your child's pose and have three really deep breaths in child's pose.
Okay, coming up out of your child's pose, roll around on your mat for the last round of hit, which is all on boat pose. Okay, so <clears throat> what we will do is four different exercises in boat. So I'll take you through as we go. The first one is low boat pulses. So we're squeezing it in and up. Okay, so we're gonna do two rounds of um, low boat pulses. So you can have your hands down if you need to. Really protect the lower back. Let's go, squeeze it in. Nice, noisy exhales. We're really squeezing those core muscles in to protect our lower back. Good. You're almost there already for this first round and we're only doing two, you'll be pleased to know. Good, and rest. If you ever feel like it's too much on your lower back, always bring your hands down to the mat just to protect the lower back, that's what's most important. Next round, let's go. So you can still do your pulses, you're just giving your lower back that extra little bit of support. Keep those core muscles pulled in and up. Keep the breath moving. Good, and rest. Okay, so next round, left leg up, right leg up, both legs up. You've both done this with me before. So, one up, the other up, both up. One, the other, both. Your hands can be down or here. Up to you. Good. And rest. So cross the legs, roll over your legs. One more round of that. Get ready. Let's go. Left leg, right leg. Both legs, left, right, both. Good. Really pull those tummy muscles in. Get them working. Make sure that you're breathing. Nice big exhales. Good stuff. And rest, good. The next one is twisted boat. So you can have your toes down if it's too much to have your toes up. We're reaching up, coming to the side, reaching up, coming to the side. Okay, so let's go. If you've got your legs up, squeeze the knees in as you come to the side. Good. This is our last round of hip. So you know you can give it everything because then we get to lay on the floor. Good, and rest. So one more of those. Oh, I am hot this morning. Okay, next one, let's go. Keep those tummy muscles pulling in. Good. Squeeze the knees in. Reach the hands side to side. Pull the tummy muscles in once more. And rest. Good. Last one is high boat, high boat, low boat. <clears throat> Let's go. So high low, high, low, exhale on the up, so you exhale on the hard bit, good, you can always use your hands on your thighs if you need to, and rest, good, we have one more of those and your hip for today's girl, well done, let's go, high, low, High and low. Keep those tummy muscles pulled in. Keep that breath moving. Almost there. And rest, well done. Okay, on your backs, feet as wide or wider than your yoga mat. And just windscreen wiper the legs from one side to the other. Good. 
Just really stretching out down the side body. Letting one knee fall into the middle, then the other knee fall into the middle. Maybe stretch that knee away from you at the bottom so you really get into the side body. And then once you've done both sides equally, hug the knees into your chest and just circle through the hips, taking it a few circles one way and then a few circles the other way. Excellent. Then take the feet up towards the ceiling, flex the toes towards you, reach up and grab your feet wherever feels most sensible to you and come into happy baby. Really stretching out that lower back, trying to get the knees as close to your armpits as possible and trying to get the back as flat as you can on the ground. A few breaths here. and then release it off. Take the feet down to the floor, arms out to your sides. Lift the hips up and shift them over to the right. Hug the knees into your chest and roll the knees over to the left, looking out over your right shoulder. And then completely relax and release everything onto the mat. few more breaths here. Really enjoying the peace after all that activity. And bringing the head back to centre. Take a nice big inhale and exhale, pull the tummy muscles in and roll the hips back onto the mat with the feet coming down last. Straighten yourself up. Then lift the hips up, scoot them over to the left and pop them down. Hug the knees into your chest and then roll the knees over to the right, looking out over your left shoulder. And completely relax down onto your mat. Couple more breaths here. And then on your next exhale, pull the tummy muscles in, roll the hips back onto the mat with the feet coming down last. And then the last move we'll do before coming into final savasana, you can either do a bridge pose, really planting the feet and lifting the hips up towards the ceiling or if you'd like to do a bit of a stronger inversion, then roll the knees up towards your head, support your back and reach your toes over into plow pose. If you're in bridge, slowly roll the spine bone by bone back down to the mat. If you're in plow, support your hips with your hands and gently roll your back back down. And then we'll come into final savasana. So take the feet out long, take the legs out long, roll yourself down onto your mat and let the feet fall open. Make sure your tailbone is comfortable, your lower back is comfortable and supported. 
Any pain in the lower back, bring your feet to the mat to let your knees roll in. And then arms down by your sides, tuck the shoulders underneath the torso and completely relax down onto your mat. Just enjoy having a few moments here in Savasana. If your body temperature comes back to normal, your heart rate comes back to normal, and your body goes about the busy job of repairing all that muscle tissue that we just used. And then take your awareness to your breath. Not trying to change it in any way, shape or form. Just watching it as it ebbs and flows in and out of the body. And when you're ready, wherever you wandered off to, bring your awareness back to your body laying on the mat. Maybe wiggling a single finger or a single toe to start with. Maybe making a bigger movement. Maybe you're full of energy and you want to roll straight up to seated and go about your day. However you feel, when you are ready, come up into a seated position and we'll finish with three lines breath so breathing in through the nose and then as we exhale stretch the chest forward and poke the tongue out as far as you can to really realign that central fascia line within the body that attaches to our tongue so exhale out any air you have in the body and let's begin making the effort to get out of bed and join me on the mat this morning. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you on your mats again soon. <coughs>